on events like uh, International Women's Day, um, significant historical milestones, uh, for example, uh, first winner at Ascot, first wi- uh, female to win the Queen's Plate, things like that. I mean, those moments, you, you take a, a step back and you, and you look at them and you think the significance, the history and what it means um, for horse racing in general, and then what it means for you know young aspiring riders, um, both male and female, to see uh, to see that success. It it means so much. It just goes to show um, you know how much the times have changed, um, and it's it's you know uh, gives an opportunity to show the strengths and how strong women can be, and then we can compete on on the same stage uh, with with our male counterparts day in and day out. That is essentially one of the reasons I love the Shergar Cup. Is it's a, it's a different level. It's a different type of racing. You know, it's not Grade One um, international high pressure, um, but it's the same quality of riders, and, and there's a little bit more fun involved. So, you know, I have a tendency to to let loose a little, to be a little bit more uh, um, flamboyant, as you say, uh, and, and enjoy it a lot more. So, it's 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 something for the fans to enjoy. Something for everyone to watch and, and see something a little bit different and again like i said i mean it's you know gives a chance for the women to showcase their skills on 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 a different sort of stage actually the first one that i remember is is you know the most significant um it was a horse by the name of retirement plan uh it was the two mile stairs race and i remember there was a lot of i don't know if it was a controversy but um I guess there was question as to one whether a North American jockey was capable of, you know, n- managing a, a two-mile race. For me, uh, my my success had, uh, over there had been limited, so um, you know there was there was questions there. So to get that first victory was uh, it meant so much. You know, it was a, a little bit of the, you know, yeah, look what I can do, and uh, so it, it's. Shergar Cup is is close to my heart. It gives me a lot of opportunities to have a little bit of fun as well. And uh, retirement plan got the, the the duck off my back, so to speak. And you know, it meant it really meant a lot to me. Jungle Cove finishing strongly under Emma Jane on the outside. Jungle Cove comes past all of them, and another Shergar Cup moment to remember for Emma Jane Wilson as Jungle Cove wins. Actually, going into the race, I watched that horse's replays a couple of times, and, and he he knew what he was doing. He was an old pro, and um, I just I knew pretty much halfway around that you know I, it was going to be tough to beat me. Um, he was traveling so easily, and and then. I remember a couple of people said to me afterwards, you know, you you really knew how much horse you had. And I was sitting so chilly as we turned for home and <laughs> everyone's, you know, scrubbing and driving and hands and heels. And I was just sitting there waiting because he was traveling so beautifully. You know, it, it, it is horse racing. It's not jockey racing. And, and to, to sit on the amount of horsepower that I had that day and to have that moment to kind of glance at everybody else and be like, oh, I got you guys quite handily. So, you know, and when I pulled the trigger, I said, okay, let's let's go on with it. He really, he he shifted into the afterburners and he was, it was a lot of fun. I remember when we won it the first time, um, I kind of said to Haley and I chatted a little. He said, well, we, we've done it now. Maybe we need to revamp and, and change it up and eliminate the girls team. Um, but then, you know, it got the better of me. It's, the Shergar Cup gives those opportunities to showcase um, and give, it, it gives an opportunity for more of the girls to, the, the women to compete at such a high level against, on such an interesting stage. And the Shergar Cup wouldn't be what it, uh, I don't think it would be what it is if it wasn't for the girls team, the the, the, the international teams, just the, the setup and the way it is. It makes for a really different kind of day of racing and, and I think it would be wrong to really change it up too much now. I'm a big fan of jumps racing. I, I watch the jumps as much as I can. Um, 
and Rachel Blackmore's rise to fame was well earned, is well earned, and, and she's continued her success um, over, you know, different tracks, different horses, and and so it just goes to show her uh, ability as as a horse person and and a rider. Um, same with Holly. I mean, I've watched Holly sort of develop. I rode with her at the Sugar Cup a few years back, and I remember I think she was either still an apprentice or just off of her apprentice and. To see her develop and change, and you know, to watch the uh, commitment to her skills and you know her weaknesses as well as her strengths to develop into a well-rounded overall rider, you can see that now. I mean, it's it's about the the dedication and the hard work that it takes to be at the top of the game, and both Rachel and Holly have showcased it. You know, you stay focused and and determined and and put in that hard work, it will pay off. Well, I, I think I would say the same sort of advice that I would to, to any young rider um, is stay focused. And I think one of the, the key things, especially in North American racing, is that we as riders um, are our own critics. We are our own coach. We don't have the same uh, sort of setup in terms of, you know, college, uh, you know, high school sports into college sports into, you know, professional sports, it's a little bit more, uh, you're more accountable to your success. So be your biggest critic, hold yourself accountable and, and work, be honest with yourself, work on those strengths, know what your strengths are and know what your weaknesses are. Focus on those weaknesses and develop them, make them your strengths as much as anything and with that kind of focus and dedication and hard work you know you're sure to succeed